Well, good morning, everyone. Guess what time it is? It's nine o'clock, and it's time for our second devotion of this week. And I want to thank all of you for uh, uh, being with us today. And I pray that you've had a good night's rest. I pray that you have rested well and uh, that you have got up in a good mood this morning, I hope. If not, maybe go back to sleep after the devotion for about five minutes and maybe start all over again. Second cup of coffee, I don't know. But I pray you have a great day today. I'm so thankful that today is Wednesday. That means that it is a statewide day of prayer. Our governor has called for a statewide day of prayer. I really believe that that the Lord is dealing with the hearts of our leaders, our states, our nation. And uh, I believe in the midst of it all, God is going to shine. I believe that we can see his hand uh, in the midst of everything. Uh, I was thinking yesterday uh, about a situation <clears throat> where we were talking about uh, having to go to the store or something. Someone had to go to the store and they called ahead um, to put their order in and do that, uh, I guess, that pick up or carry out thing. I, I don't know. I've never done it. I don't know. Um, and, and I was thinking about, man, where would we be in, as, a, as, a, as a, a nation if that hadn't started so many months ago? I think that if we just take time to, to step back, take a deep breath, we can see that God has prepared and made a way if we'll just uh, see him in it and embrace it. But I want to start today off, uh, I want to talk about uh, being a lighthouse today. But before we do, I just want to pray uh, for a little bit. Uh, and I encourage you th today to please set some time aside and pray that God would just release a cure from heaven of this coronavirus, rid our land of it, and heal it, uh, not just physically, but spiritually, and in the midst of it all, that God would just get the glory. Father, we just thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you that we're alive. We thank you that we have air in our lungs to breathe. And Father, I just thank you for who you are. You're mighty and you're strong. You're glorious. And Lord, I just lift up to the President of the United States to you right now. I lift up all of his leadership. I lift up every governor in the United States of America and all of their leadership, the local governments, the city governments. And Lord, I pray you give them wisdom. I pray that you give them direction. And Lord, I pray that you would undergird them with your righteous right hand. And Lord, I pray that you would touch all the medical caregivers, Lord, all the first responders, all those that are not able to stay at home, Father. I pray that you would just encourage them, you would strengthen them today, that you give them wisdom. And Lord, I pray you give your angels charge over them, God. I pray that you'd protect them as they carry out their duties and as they go about your business. And Lord, I pray that you just give them wisdom. And Lord, I pray that they'd be overshadowed by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And Father, I pray that you just be with every family, every individual that's tuning in today. And Lord, I pray that you would just guard their home. I pray, Father, that they would see this time at home as a gift from you. And Lord, I pray that we would make the most of it. We thank you for it. We thank you for heaven. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for salvation today, Lord. And we ask it in Jesus' name. And amen. I want to talk to you today about being a lighthouse. A lighthouse. And I want to read... Uh, from uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, New Living Translation. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Jesus said, you are a light. You are the light of the world. And the, the light that is in us is not of ourselves. We know it's of God, and he is the one that actually shines. But I want to talk about a lighthouse today. A lighthouse, what's the purpose of a lighthouse? A lighthouse is a navigational aid. It, it is a, a, an aid that warns of, da of impending danger. In other words, it, it, is a, it guides to safety and it warns of danger. And I want you to understand that's who we are supposed to be in this world. We, we are supposed to be one that guides uh, uh, as a, as a uh, guide to safety and also uh, perhaps maybe even at times warn of danger. But a lighthouse shines. We are called to shine. A lighthouse shines. We're called to shine. And every time I hear that word shine, I can't help but think of our old brother, Red McComas. If you were around Maranatha for any length of time, you, you would hear uh, Red McComas sing the song, Shine, Jesus, Shine. And he was just, uh, just a, 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 a man filled full of passion and fire. And he shined for Jesus. And that's who we're supposed to be. We're just supposed to shine for the Lord. Now is your time to shine. 
right there in your home, right in your community, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, we shine by how we walk things out. The great thing my wife reminded me of this the other night uh, was that a lighthouse shines wherever it is. A lighthouse doesn't move. It shines right where it is. So it lets us know that we are to shine right where we are. Wherever we are, we should be shining. And right now we're in our home. <laughs> we need to shine in front of our families, in front of our neighbors, in front of our employer, our employees. Wherever you are, whatever you're walking through, whoever you're around, we are to shine. We shine. Listen, I was thinking about this the other day. Okay, I'm, I, I'm at home. And how do I shine as when I'm at home? Well, I shine through the emails that I send out. I shine by my facial expressions that I give off. I shine through phone conversations. I shine by the words that I speak. I, I shine um, uh, by how my family sees me respond to situations. See, uh, 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 just as the light cannot be hidden, that means if we put off something negative, it can't be hidden either. So we really just need to learn to govern ourselves how to restrain the flesh when it wants to react and learn how to just shine the way that Jesus wants us to shine. We shine. I, I talked at, at, at church a couple services ago about how the Holy Spirit, he's the one that causes us to shine, but the Holy Spirit is in me for me, but he is upon me for you. And we have to understand that that he is upon me for other people. In other words, other people will see who Jesus is by how I reflect him, by how I allow him to shine through me. See, the light speaks of our witness. It speaks of our witness. It speaks how we live. Uh, what we display really tells others who Jesus is. We, we shine uh, and, and, and we, our witness is how we speak our words. It's our actions. It's our deeds. It's what we put out there on social media. Jesus help us. It's what we put out there on social media. We, we, we make a cute little comment. We put it out there, but then we don't really think about how it might um, detract from how Jesus shines. So I just encourage you that as you are out there on social media, uh, just think about what you put out there before you actually put it out. And also, we shine by how uh, the witness that we give off, by how we uh, take care of our, our, what we've been entrusted with, our families, how we pay our bills, how we conduct ourselves in public uh, uh, situations. It's all about how we shine. The key is this, and this is the, really the thought that I want to leave you with today. The key is this, someone is always watching. Someone's always watching. And you, you might think that there's no one around that knows you, but someone knows you. And we are always on display, whether we like it or not. If we are a child of God, we are always on display. I was, um, I'm, I'm new to Facebook, uh, all of you know, and my wife's helping me to navigate. And I was going through uh, this one uh, place on uh, Facebook yesterday. I, I honestly, I don't know the terminology. But I saw that, that my cousin uh, Candy had put a post um, about the devotion yesterday. Candy is a very special young woman, always has been to my wife and I. Uh, there was three of those kids, uh, Candy, Jenny, and Josh, and they were just very precious to us. Uh, they were part of our youth group when we were, they helped raise us in the ministry, actually, as kids, they helped raise us up in the ministry. And she put a, a post out there about how the devotion yesterday really just helped her, about how it helped her and how that her time at home is really a, a, a gift. And, and um, my point is, someone's always watching. She lives in North Carolina. I had no idea that she even knew that we were doing anything. My point is, someone is always watching. And, and the light that we put forth speaks volumes as to who Jesus is. My question is this, who are we telling others that Jesus really is? By our actions, our words, and our deeds. If we couldn't actually even just speak a word, we are still shining. And we're letting people know who Jesus is, good or bad. And I was another time... Uh, 
the other day uh, I was I was on Facebook and I guess there's this thing called Messenger and I really didn't even know what it was I think I ran across it on accident and I found out I had some messages on it and um, of course I'm, I'm new to it and my venture on Facebook is is very elementary at best and I was got on Messenger and and I was looking through there and I got a message from um, a, a guy that I knew back in Enterprise when I lived there. He was much younger than I was, and I was around him some uh, when I, I, I worked at, at different places. And he sent me a message, and uh, the guy that I knew years ago, and, and this was part of the message that he sent me. Just wanted you to know that I always looked up to you. When we worked together or when, whenever we were just hanging out, I can remember thinking, he's a great man. I wanted to be just like you. You were always positive when you talked. And when I read that, it kind of convicted me, and I thought, wow. I had no idea he was even watching. We have no idea what kind of influence we have on people. It's a great opportunity, but it's a great resp responsibility. We're not special. We're just responsible with what God has entrusted to us. So today I want to leave you with this. I want you, I want you to, to remind you that someone is always watching. And I just encourage you to be a lighthouse for Jesus. Yeah, you're going to mess up. You're going to fall. You're going to make mistakes. We all do. We ask God to forgive us. We ask people to forgive us if we need to. And we move on. Thankful for God's mercy and grace. Amen. But today, remember, someone is always watching. And just understand, just be a lighthouse. Just shine for Jesus. I pray that this devotion has encouraged you today. I pray that it helps you. And I remind you again to, to please uh, uh, spend a little bit of time today praying for our state and our nation, our leaders. Uh, pray for a cure from heaven for this uh, coronavirus. And by God's grace, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., I'll meet you same place. And if you want to tune in tonight at 7 o'clock, we're going to have service. There's going to be uh, just uh, uh, about six of us at the church together to do the service this evening. If you want to be a part of that, by God's grace, we'll see you at 7. Sure love you. I'll see you soon.